May I request everyone to please stand? Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. Thank you uh, to our uh, Vice President, Vice President uh, Indai Sara Duterte. Please uh, take your seats. Uh, Finance Secretary uh, Ben Jokno, the uh, Transportation Secretary, Secretary Jimmy Bautista. Also here with us uh, as, uh, as a member of the Cabinet is the Budget and Management Secretary, uh, Secretary Mina Pangandaman. The, and uh, as a special guest uh, for our uh, proceedings today, our uh, Senator uh, Ami Marcos, who is uh, representing, I suppose, the Upper House. The Honorable Members of the House of Representatives, the, our good friend, uh, who has been at the forefront of assisting us in all of these uh, very big ticket projects, as uh, the uh, President of the ADB, uh, President uh, Matsusugi Asakawa. The, our uh, mayor, mayor of Davao City, Davao City Mayor uh, Bastet Duterte, my fellow workers in government, other distinguished guests, Mayong Adlao Satana. Today we welcome yet another milestone that heralds a very large leap towards realizing our goal to modernize our country's public transportation system. It's my pleasure to witness and participate in today's event where we formalize the loan agreement for the, the Davao Public Transport Modernization Project or DPTMP. This project aims to support the city of Davao as it progressively expands its economic activities. As it opens its doors to visitors and investors, the city will be rewarded with increased business opportunities. Increased commercial activities necessarily bring more people, which means more vehicles on the streets, busier roads, and hence heavier traffic. It is therefore the right time to commence this project. The project will have an integrated network of 29 routes and will connect major commercial centers in Davao and will yield various socio-economic opportunities for Davaoenos. This modernization project has long been envisioned as early as 2010 and of course we are delighted that finally we are ready and geared up to start the project's long-awaited and anticipated implementation. More importantly, this project is made possible through the adequate financing of our country's active and reliable partner in social and economic projects since its inception. Hindi lang ito, at napakatagal na na tayo'y tinutulungan ng ating partner in development, ang aking tawag sa kanila, ang Asian Development Bank. We must extend our gratitude to all the officials of the ADB who are also with us today. I thank you for your unwavering support in various government projects and initiatives. As we further our partnership, I'm optimistic that we will come up and forge even more projects in the years ahead, especially those that aim to improve the lives and lessen the burden to the Filipino public. Lest we forget, coupled with this grand vision of building an efficient mode of transportation are the unavoidable issues that also need our immediate attention, such as the families who will be displaced by the implementation of the program. But I assure everyone that this project will also include social development interventions, such as financial and non-financial assistance for those who are displaced. It will also ensure that the families affected by the construction are properly compensated and, if need be, relocated. I thus urge the DOTR to strive to accomplish the project within the set timeline ensure that it affects the least number of people and activities as possible and work together with the concerned agencies in addressing all the different concerns such as funding requirement, the new traffic, those uh, households that will be affected. So to my dear Dabawenyo brothers and sisters, I give you my commitment that this administration will not fall short in delivering services that you all deserve. As I offer you, 
As I offer you this affirmation, I also ask for your support in ensuring that once these projects are completed, that we will abide by the laws and take care of our buses and other forms of transportation and our roadways. I assure my fellow Filipinos that your government is working hard to improve the country's transportation systems, operations, and management for the benefit of present and future generations. We will remain relentless in providing solutions to the pressing challenges that hinder our path towards prosperity and progress. As long as we are guided by the core of the whole of nation and even the whole of society approach, I am confident that our vision of a seamless, efficient, accessible, and highly connected transportation system will be well within our reach. Once again, congratulations to all involved in this very significant occasion. I look forward to the day when we will witness the start of operations of the DPTMP. Until then, until then, let us continue working together so that we will remain on the right track towards a more productive and progressive tomorrow for our beloved Philippines. Daghang salamat at mabuhay kayong lahat. Thank you, Mr. President.